Well, here we are, St Albans Science Garden. Just made a start. Steve from Paul Jackson's digging a digging out for a bog garden. Over here we've got a fern garden in preparation. Here's the uh, collection of flowers. We've got uh, the plants for the bog garden. We've got a dry garden going in, and uh, which will have flowers to encourage bees and butterflies. And there's the materials for a bug hotel. And again, this is the fern garden preparation here. Okay, so when there's a bit more to see, I'll come back. Timber. Here we go. Thanks very much to Cheshire Damlation. That's fantastic. So, uh, what do you think of the show so far? Okay, so here we are. Dry garden. Volunteers working hard. Fantastic. We we'll put these broken clay tiles in the bottom to add to the drainage, ready for the soil on top. There's the rest of the volunteers. Are you pleased with it so far? Fantastic. Yeah. What more could I this say? This is Tom, Paula's son. <laughs> Can everybody introduce themselves? What, what's your name? Oh. Anna. Anna, Paula. Sorry, Claire. Claire. Tom. Tom. That's Farmer cool. Carey, what's your first name? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nigel's just disappeared over there. Wow. Hi, Nigel. <laughs> And just in the background, that, that's the fern garden on the way. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> Any idea where we're, where we're up to? Yes, now we've got that much from. Yes, now it's £11.50 cost £15. Pounds. £15, pounds, fantastic. So here we are. Oh, lovely. Here's the uh, dry garden. Next progress report. This is nearly finished now. Need to have a good tidy up. But pretty well the dry garden's done. Here's the Bug Hotel. Let's go and have a look at the Shade Garden. It's the Shade Garden with the ferns and hookahs. Looking great. Here's the uh, weather station with the, I don't know if you can see that on top, let's zoom in. That's the weather station on top. Just going to have a look at the bog garden now. The bog garden. Oh, oh, here's Pete from Bailey and Webb, best uh, electricians in Macclesfield. Fantastic, all part of health and safety. Don't fall off just now. Mind you, I might get 250 quid if you do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the uh, our special stones here. There's South, 
east, north and west. Looking great. Bye, children. But, Mr. Rodley, it wouldn't be made possible without the help of some of our parents who've given up their time and their expertise to come and help actually build our science garden. It also wouldn't be possible unless we have some money to help us with the project. And you've all been great at funding, but Mrs. Anderson here, who is in charge of the, or helps to run the PTA, the 100 Club, very kindly gave us some money along with Cheshire Peaks and Plays to make this possible, Mr. Rothley. So I just want to give them a really warm round of applause. Tremendous, so thank you very much indeed. And now I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Rutley, and we'd like to say a few words. But I'm sure we'd like to find out also from Mr. Rutley a little bit about the Olympia. I know he's talked about it before, but it's so interesting that I'd like to hear a few words about it too. Oh, That's right. all right, Mr. Rutley, putting you right on the spot now. <laughs> thank you. Well, if you say I must, I have to. <laughs> so I will. My goodness, it's good to be here. It's incredible. Have you seen how much rain is outside? <laughs> Where did all that come from? I suppose we learn about that in science, don't we? It's incredible to see so much rain. But I'm very grateful to be here. One, one of the things I, I try and do is talk about the importance of science and maths, the subjects that we need to study at school. And I went to a very important meeting with the Chancellor of the Exchequer. He's the person that controls all of our money in this country. And his constituency, or the area he represents, just next door in Tatton. And I said to him in this meeting that was, on, that was televised and everything else, I said to him, Dr. the Exchequer, do you not believe that it's vitally important, because we speak like that in Parliament, do you think it's vitally important that we have more children learning science and maths? Because all of our children want to become celebrities. You know what they are? <laughs> celebrities and footballers. Because yeah, yeah. I think too, if you want to become celebrities and footballers. Anyway, Mr. Osborne said back to me, he said, Mr. Rutley, because that's how we talk to each other there, he said, how can somebody that represents Wayne Rooney <laughs> have anything bad to say about football? Because Wayne Rooney lives in our constituency, in our area, over in Westbury. But he then went on to say that, in fact, it is really important that we have more people learn about science and learn math.